Hi and welcome to a demo of how you can use Doxonometer to turn your ClickUp data into PDF. Let's get started. So I'm on Doxonometer's website here and the first thing you of course need is an account. So please click on sign up, login. I already have an account so I'm going straight to the app. Um, if you do this for the first time, you will have to create an account first, of course. So here you see your dashboard. The dashboard is where you can see how many uh, documents you've printed already in the current billing period, how many uh, documents you have available in your current plan. And you also see a list of all your automations. So an automation is always a data source transforming data into PDFs. So for every document that you have that you want to create, you create one automation. In our case, we want to create uh, data from ClickUp. Let's call this ClickUp demo. So as the data source, um, I'm selecting ClickUp here. I already have my account connected. Um, if you haven't uh, connected your account already, you will see um, a little button here that basically says connect your account and this will then um, allow you to select the workspace that you want to automate documents from. The next box is to set, says to set your Google Doc template. For the sake of this demo, we're using this ClickUp test uh, Google Doc here, but the template is basically um, the document that you want to print again and again and again, and where you define these placeholders that you see here in curly brackets. Um, there um, are some templates available on Doxalimeter's website, and there's also a template creation service if uh, you want um, basically us to create the template for you. Um, but for the sake of this demo, we are taking this um, uh, ClickUp test document template here, which basically has a placeholder for every uh, field type that uh, Doxtelmeter is supporting um, from ClickUp. So what you do is you copy uh, this URL and you paste it here. So as you can see, this loads the Google Doc. And we have a few optional settings here. We can set the locale. So these are uh, regions in the world and then dates and currencies are formatted according to that region. And then for date and time formats, there are some um, additional settings here and you always get a preview of how uh, dates will then be printed depending on what you select here. And the last option is to say whether you want to save your Google Doc or not. What does that mean? There's always a PDF created at the end of the, the document creation process and optionally a Google Doc um, is kept basically. Um, this is beneficial if you want to continue editing a document that has been, um, that has been created um, and then you will um, be able to do so if you toggle this on. If we do this, you also have the option to set the folder in your Google Drive um, where you want to save that Google Doc. So now we get to mapping your ClickUp data. Um, how does that work? Basically, you select a space and a list. Um, let's quickly look into our ClickUp setup. I have um, a CRM space here in my workspace, and then I have a list which is called invoices and some uh, random dummy data that we use for this demo. Um, we basically want to print from this task today. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting the space, which is CRM. I'm selecting the list, which is called invoices. Um, and this is going to load all the fields that are, that are defined on that list. So all the fields that you can select on tasks, um, as you can see here, all these fields, um, you will find them here in the dropdown. In addition to custom fields, so all of these are custom fields that I have given this name to, there are also some standard fields that are just on any task in ClickUp. So like SNEs, created by, a custom ID, some dates, like a due date and date close. There's an ID, there's a name, there's priority, there's a start date, and there's a status. These are on every task in ClickUp and you'll be able to map this here to the placeholders. But first we can set a document name. Document name also comes from a field in ClickUp. And uh, for the sake of this demo, we are saying the task name shall be our document name. So that basically means from now on, every PDF that is created will have the name of the task. Um, let's map some data here. So we have a, a variable called standard name, which uh, we say this is the name. And then 
we have a description and we have an ID. Um, let's do something else. There was also a checkbox um, and some date. Let's take the due date. Um, and then there's an image. So Docs Automator allows to print images from your ClickUp data. And the way that works is um, you define an attachment field. In my case, that's called files. And then that attachment field has some images. And always the first image is taken and is printed. Um, as you can see here, only attachment fields can be selected. So my list only has one attachment field that's called files. So I'm selecting this one. And optionally, we can give the width in pixels here. So if this is left blank, then it would be the full size of the image. But let's say we want this to be 200 pixels wide. We could go on and map now all this data, but I'm going to skip that. Uh, it's going to be boring for you. And uh, what I want to show you is when this is mapped, we can create a preview here on the right side. Where it says click up task, it basically loads a list of our tasks. So in my case, I have these tasks here and I find them with their titles here or with their names here as well. Um, up to 100 tasks are loaded here. So if you have more than 100 tasks in your list, uh, only 100 will be randomly loaded. Um, let's take this one, the uh, 072678. Uh, and then we can click on Create Preview. Um, and this is going to take our task. Um, the data in there is going to create a new Google Doc and uh, outputting a PDF, which we can see here. In preview mode, this is not charged against your credits, um, but there are going to be some placeholders in the background. Like it says, Docs Automator preview in the background. Yeah, and there you can see how our map data came out. So we mapped the name, some description, some of the task ID, and then we also printed the image here. Um, I apologize that this doesn't look very good, this document. This is really just for um, demo purposes, so you can see like how it works. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to create a much uh, nicer looking uh, document um, and we'll be able to um, use this um, to a more um, specific purpose than what I was doing here. Last point, last step is to set up document creation in ClickUp. Um, this is the last point here on the page. The way this works is we have to um, basically paste this URL in an automation in ClickUp. So the way uh, documents are created out of a task is via automations. I already have um, uh, an automation set up here, so I'm just going to edit this one. And what I've said is like when a um, checkbox, which is called create PDF is checked, then something shall be created. Um, so we do this by saying call webhook. And then we just paste the URL that we've just literally copied by just clicking on this. We paste the URL. And the last thing we have to do here is add the task ID. Because this is basically how we're telling Docs Automator, this is the task that shall be printed. This is the task that we want to print. And then we go and save. Um, of course, as a trigger, this could be anything. So anything you can select in automations could be the trigger for creating documents. Um, just so we can do this in a controlled environment, sort of, I've used a checkbox in this case. So as you can see, there's no PDF currently here. Um, the PDF will be added as an attachment to the task here. Um, so I click on Create PDF. And if all goes well, uh, we should see a printed PDF relatively soon. Um, unfortunately, ClickUp doesn't really uh, live reload um, when you're in the task. At least that's my understanding. Um, and here it is. Um, so we always have to open this again. Um, that's the PDF. And now you can see the PDF. Let me zoom out here a bit. Now you can see the PDF, of course, without uh, placeholders. This um, was now also charged against um, the document credits. Um, and you can see exactly the same that we saw before um, in the preview. Um, you can uh, see now um, as well. Um, so all the details have been printed on the page. Um, yeah, that's how easy it is to print uh, documents from your ClickUp data. 
Um, of course, the question is how are certain fields handled, like how is a drop down handled, how are dates handled, etc. Um, if you uh, go to Docs I mean, as a knowledge base, there's a document for the ClickUp integration, uh, which I can also show you this quickly Here on the right side. It says ClickUp integration. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Not only um, do you see everything step by step explained here as well, but you also see a list um, of all the fields that are supported currently and how they're printed uh, with a little description next to it um, according to the behavior and how DocSubmit is handling that uh, field type. Um, there are also um, fields that are not supported currently and uh, which I'm working on. Um, and this is the relationship field, the roll-up field and tasks. Um, and that's going to be launched hopefully very, very soon. And I'm, I'm looking forward to your feedback on that. Um, in order to know how to best set that up. Um, is there anything else I want to show you? I don't think so. Um, that's it. Um, I hope that this integration is of value to you. Um, I'm looking forward to receiving your feedback. You can reach out in the Docs Animator chat. You always see this chat icon here on the right uh, lower corner. Um, I'm, uh, I hope that many of you actually do that and let me know what you think, how this can be improved, um, if it helped you, if it didn't help you. Um, yeah, I'm very, very curious to hear from you. And until then, I wish you happy automating and talk to you very soon.